Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here and welcome back to another episode of Football Manager 2020 with FC20 and we are sat on this screen because this is the live com that you just witnessed that I recorded but didn't hit record. This is a usual YouTuber mistake and if you've never made this mistake before doing YouTube, applauds to you because it's absolutely horrendous when you do it. And the worst part is, is we played Real Madrid and we just beat them 2-0. We just beat them 2-0. So let's just get into the episode and I'm just devastated. So as the genius that I am, not hitting record although i think i've hit record this time i'll just check we hit record thank god uh we are now second in the group stage which is really ridiculous we just beat real madrid guys let's round of applause for me uh apart from not doing the live comp correctly but uh yeah we've just beaten real madrid which gives us a win a draw and a loss in the group now we did lose to uh the Shiktas, which was really frustrating three two we did try and go there and win the game and then we also just drew with benfica now i'm going to show you the schedule and i was extremely frustrated at the start of the last video but i'm not really for this one because we we were on a run as draw specialists, and what we tend to do, we take the lead, and then we concede. That's the slogan for FC20 this year, but not against Real Madrid, because we've just beaten them 2-0, as you saw, Sup and Seferosa scored an absolute screamer. Roll clip. Oh, Seferosa has it here. He's moving forward with the ball. What's he going to do? Surely he's not going to hit it. Oh my god, what a goal! And Lunin does have a nightmare there, though. That was 100% a recreation of my actual reaction. I don't even think I reacted like that. It was probably more shock. But anyway, the rest of the games. We had a 2-2 against Groningen, a 1-1 against Benfica. You can see a running theme here. There's lots of yellows. It's not usually what you want to see when you're looking at the schedule. 0-0 uh, against Venelo, which was very disappointing. And then the 3-2 defeat to Besiktas. I mean, it was just... It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. 52nd, 54th, and 58th minute. It's just... I don't want to talk about it. Let's move on. And then a 3-3 against PS v where we we did it i was cheering bouncing up and down we'd finally broken the draw streak against psv one of the best teams in the league and then they scored in the 96th minute of 94 minutes added on and we cried so let's move into the game today which will be den haag it was supposed to be real madrid but we're going to do den haag there's been a few changes the live comes now are going to be key highlights because we might do some double live come episodes i just think it snaps things and pushes them further forward uh let's look at the league though so the league has us sat in eighth. So today, to be honest with you, we need a pretty decent performance against Den Haag. They're right next to us. But to be fair, there's teams up there like Utrecht, Vitesse and Heracles, who I'm expecting to drop off NEC. These teams have had great starts to the season, but I think they'll drop off. Champions League football is definitely taking its toll on my squad, and I'm finding it far more difficult to keep them interested in the league. They seem to only care about the Champions League, so hopefully they're up for it today. I remember saying in pre-season that I was a bit worried about finances. I'm certainly not now. I don't know why it only says secure but the man at the top in the board is putting a lot of money in his pocket isn't he the balance is now set at 37 million very much expecting a big budget next season because we haven't had one yet have we b minus for manager's performance we've just had the best victory although i didn't record it in the club's history against real madrid and they give me a b minus ridiculous right guys so it's time for the den Haag game and we've made a couple of changes now i am going to stick with philip in the team even though he didn't have a great performance against real madrid but it was against real madrid but i'm going to have to bring in fernandez and intender for tired sabal and vice versa batista Mayer who picked up a little bit of a knock in the last game but hopefully this will be a victory we're at home we really need a good performance i i i cannot rely on draws in this league any longer we need to start getting wins and points on the board it's great what we're doing in europe but the league is most important or else we won't be there next season and right, so here we go taking on den Haag. they're playing extremely defensive i am not playing too aggressively in terms of a high line so hopefully it brings them out a little bit which will leave gaps for players like sup to punish them as we go through and we can't get a goal straight away it's going to be interesting doing these on um key highlights as well maybe they'll be a little bit quicker and snappier i have no noticed that on extended although that's the way i like to play the highlights do take a little bit of time and we do end up commentating over dead highlights as fernandez lined that up i thought he was going to score there that's why there was a quick pause but no goal yet but we do look on top which is nice terrible corner and there was nobody stood there why is nobody crashing the box there we just all stood on the edge of the box just whistling humming just having a good time enjoying the day out it's been a solid performance from us so far in this first half they've had absolutely nothing but i'd love a goal and then we seferosa usually when he gets in that position i get really excited that's why you heard the tone of my voice go up when i said seferosa but he missed it on this occasion 
Well, that's the first half to forget. There weren't many highlights, although we did have 13 shots and seven on target. You would imagine with at least one of them, we'd have put the ball in the back of the net, but it's just not the it's just not the case at this moment in time. Feyenoord are beating Groningen 2-0. PSV are drawing, just like ourselves very often, and Ajax are winning. What a surprise. AZ, though, not beating Utrecht, and that's quite a big game to watch because their team's above us. Um, I'm going to tell the team that we can still... No, I'm going to tell them I'm far from pleased, actually. We... Den Haag is definitely a team we should be getting goals against. Philip again, just pretty much been non-existent in that role up there i might actually change it up see how it goes we don't usually play this formation it's a different style to what we would usually play but i'm still expecting something to happen in this game what can we do with the throw it goes to philip and then intenda intenda sephiroza will follow up he can hit them so can busquets though we've got several good players at hitting long shots which i think really benefits as intenda though what can he do good ball in fernandez hits the crossbar and Den Haag, hold on. All right, so we brought Sup off. We're going to bring on Vasquez, who has scored the odd goal for us. Let's chuck in a get creative. As you can see, we're absolutely dominating, and you know for well they're going to score here now. No, they didn't. I was going to say, you could just tell that they would get a goal in that situation, and that'd be it. But Seferosa, oh, he's on it here today, and they're going to have a player sent off here, so maybe we just push the line up completely now. I think surely that should lead towards us getting a goal. We genuinely thought the red card was certainly going to lead to us getting more chances, but there hasn't been any more highlights. Let's make our final substitute and see if we can get out here. But this is absolutely ridiculous that there hasn't been a goal in this game. I genuinely don't understand. And that will be game set a match and another draw for FC 28 in a game that we've had 29 shots and 14 of those have been on target. Four half chances. We haven't scored a single goal. Really need to look in the mirror and ask ourselves a question. But I'm telling you now, we tend to be up for one game. Real Madrid. Fine. Great. Fantastic. Famous victory. Then we come to the league game. Draw. So draw. What are we going to do in the league? We're going to draw. And that's exactly what happened. You couldn't have had more opportunities than in this match. And we just failed to take our chances. And that is extremely frustrating. As we stumble to a nil-nil in the live con when we could have had a 2-0 against Real Madrid if I'd have hit record. I'm never going to live that one down now. I'm going to feel that one forever. I can't believe I didn't hit record. It's such a good result. And that makes it six draws for the season so far. And we really are proving to be wonderful draw specialists. Um, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand understand why we just we just draw in the league it's just our thing at the moment we've only lost once we've only lost once and it was to knack breda which makes it even worse but we've only won twice feyenoord and heravine which are two teams that you would have thought we'd have drawn against the draws are frustrating because den Haag, you've got to beat them venelo we've got to beat them Groningen, we've got to beat them and utrecht we've got to beat them they're all teams that are winnable in this league az and psv okay and i've probably taken them if we'd have won the other games az are having a fantastic season though i must add always feels weird praising someone's performance when you've drawn I mean, Seferosa was fantastic, and he actually helped them get the player sent off. I mean, if we look at Seferosa, he's he's an absolute superb player, isn't he? And he isn't susceptible to injuries. I, I don't know why he's got that. He's not really been out injured for the majority of his time here, so I don't really see that one. Let's see where we'll come back for the next game, then. I have not decided yet. Look at that. A sea of yellow. Fantastic. It will probably be Ajax, to be honest with you. Depending, though, if we beat Real Madrid away, then we might do Benfica, because that could be the game. We might do a double header. We might do Benfica and Ajax for the first time, because it's going to be interesting for me to see when I edit this video how long it is with doing key highlights. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe and sexy. I appreciate you all and i will see you in the next episode where hopefully it's a sea of green and we stop drawing consistently in the league